Cool. Um, so really excited to show this off to you guys. Um, one of our goals, uh, you know, with revamping this activation flow uh, was to pair uh, personalization with kind of some important one-time setup steps um, and then send uh, very useful, robust resources that help uh, new tenants get up and running as quickly as possible. Um, you'll see that there's kind of an element of um, bringing more of uh, the functionality we have a courier into the screens. Um, so for folks who are less familiar um, with our product, they have more of a glimpse of the possibilities of what they can create and send it out through courier. Um, and, and we actually, it's supposed to serve as a little bit of a how-to guide. Um, so hopefully maybe getting you to that, that aha moment um, in, in discovering the value of courier uh, by the end of this flow. You can tell me whether or not you know, that works for you guys. But on this, uh, this first page, you know, to speak to some of that personalization, I'll add some weird capitalization to my name. Um, you can see how the fields that are over on the right side um, change as I enter in information over on the left side. Um, to add, you know, a touch of personalization, um, you know, if my if I didn't want to go by Ryland, if I wanted to add a nickname instead, you know, Courier would have addressed me as such. Um, and I can see how, uh, uh, you know, some of these messages might uh, uh, render in kind of abstract uh, renderings across our, our different channel types. So we have chat, SMS, uh, mobile push, you know, the in-app uh, messages that Riley spoke to earlier on this, uh, this stream. Um, and then of course, email as well. I'll go back to <laughs> Rylan for posterity. Um, and then, you know, as far as like demonstrating uh, the actual utility um, and your experience with Courier, I'm just asking, you know, questions like, will you be the one integrating Courier with your code base? So you uh, make sure that you have the right teammates involved with the workspaces that you set up. Mm -hmm. so I'll say yes here. Cool. Um, one of those one-time setup um, maneuvers that we're, we're trying to uh, get you to do is to set up your brand. Um, so everything is fitted for your company um, and your brand um, early in the process. Um, we have a message that says, you know, to show how the Courier Send API works. Uh, let's use it to send some handy resources your way. Um, this is the actual message that you'll receive in your inbox. Um, and we have a couple, you know, test brands just showing, you know, how different branding might render within an email which across mm -hmm. Courier or, you know, something like Trevor. Um, I'm going to customize my brand and uh, change the low, you know, colors to, you know, maybe a green, uh, maybe a blue. <laughs> I'm going to go with a very Eastery theme here. <laughs> right there. Um, I feel like you know, we're, we're transitioning from spring to summer. But um, and then for logo, I think I'm going to drop this Trevor logo that I have in here, um, and you can see, you know, how. You know, within a couple steps, I've already fit this email um, to work for my my Ryland brand. So, so I'll save that. Um, and then um, we want to demonstrate um, just the depth of, uh, or you know, the range of engineers that could work with this. So uh, we not only have curl commands, but also Node, Go, PHP, Python, um, Ruby, and Java. So whatever, or however you want to integrate this into your code base. Um, you should be able to find a way to do that within Courier. So I can show you what those different um, codes look like, uh, you know, across these different languages. I'm going to use curl personally and copy this to my clipboard. I'll show you what it looks like to actually, you know, run this from my, my curl window here. And then, you know, this is kind of the big drum roll moment here, but you can oh, see awesome. that. I actually get that welcome message sent validation right in this onboarding process. Um, you know, another, another thing that we wanted to um, do was uh, make it easier for you to set up teams, you know, so it's not just you putting together notifications, um, but you and the network around you um, that is able to quickly send and configure, you know, whatever, whatever notifications you want. So, you know, I can quickly send a, you know, a, uh, invite to myself. <laughs> this is kind of an insular team right now. Um, for you know, Courier UX, but I can send it up to 20 different email addresses and send that. You can see how the messaging is a little bit more personalized as well, saying that mm -hmm. Island wants you to join this team specifically. Yeah. Um, and that's it. You know, I get a little bit of a validation. I'm saying that my uh, invite was sent out. 
Um, and then I get dropped into uh, this dashboard, which is a little bit different this month than it was in previous months. Um, you know, we have a welcome message up front. Um, and then one of the things we're working on as the activation team is just making sure there are clear journeys for that first time user. Um, in this call already, you've seen how you know, we're pairing complex uh, functionality with automations, you know, some of the in-app designer uh, workflows that Riley and Chris were running through with uh, you know, some of those workflows where you know, if you're a first time user, we just wanna get you set up and up and running as quickly as possible. Um, and two of the things involved there involve you know, making sure that you integrate a provider um, and create an, a notification. So we're you know, setting up uh, some guardrails to make sure that uh, you get to uh, that, that moment. Um, as quickly and smoothly as possible.